Things were bad enough. Two double-digit losses to end the regular season had banished the once mighty Sooners to a Tuesday afternoon first-round game against the 12 seeded Missouri Tigers. This was a game to regain confidence, to work out all the kinks before facing a tough Texas A&M team on Wednesday. Right? We'll see about that. Courtney Paris received her Big 12 Player of the Year award before the game, but was more interested in the game at hand, and CP3 came out clicking. She had 12 points, 10 rebounds in the first half alone. Her sister Ashley had four points, six rebounds in the first half, but contributed another 17 rebounds in the second half and ended up with 12 points and 23 rebounds. That's good enough for second place all time in the Big 12 tournament behind sister Courtney. OU led by only three at the half, 24-21. Late in the game, Courtney got the hoop in the harm. She missed the free throw and OU led 53-50 with three minutes left. The score would stay that way until Amanda Hanneman hit the three-pointer with 13 seconds left to tie the game at 53. That left Mizzou fans dancing in the stands. OU would have a chance late, but wouldn't even get a shot off before the end of regulation. In overtime, it was Alyssa Hollins who would score 10 points and lead the Tigers to the huge upset, the shocker, as the Tigers win 70 to 64. We did not shoot the ball well. I don't know that I've ever seen a box score where you had almost more rebounds than you had points. I don't know if I've ever seen that. So um, name of the game is making baskets, and we had a hard time doing that today. Obviously, our last few games have been frustrating, and we, we know we have a lot of potential. We know we have all the pieces necessary and, and that we're very capable of being just as good as any team in America. It's just, it's just frustrating trying to put it all together. Confidence, we're still confident that we can figure it out, and we're trying to. Like Coach said, we didn't make shots, didn't get it done. I think that, that goes to me more than anything. Somebody's got to make a shot. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's the name of the game, and so I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer your question, Lynn. I, we have to make baskets. You can't, you can't shoot 18% from the three and 33% from the two and 20 from the line and expect to beat anybody, regardless of what their game plan is. Sherry Cole's club becomes the first women's team in Big 12 history to fall prey to a 12 seed. The team that had trampled through the tournament for the past two years stumbles against a Missouri team that was 2-14 and 14 in conference. One thing's certain, OU has a lot of problems to fix and not much time to fix them. The next loss will be the final loss for the Sooners. Damon Fontenot, News OK TV.